welcome back to easy and inspire so in today's class we are discussing about rs flip flop in previous sessions we have seen what is a flip flop and introduction of flip flop this is rs flip flop so we know that latch and flip flop both are same but the basic difference between latch and flip flop is latch do not contain any clock pulse flip flop contains a clock pulse we know the basic difference between latch and flip flop if you observe this carefully so this portion is nothing but rs latch rs latch is having two inputs set reset two outputs q q bar so this is rs latch so a clock pulse is added to rs latch it becomes now rs flip flop or sr flip flop so the block diagram of rs flip flop is this one so in latch there is no clock pulse in flip flop there is a clock pulse that is the basic difference okay rs latch is the basic flip flop among all the remaining flip flops and all the remaining flip flops are designed by modifying this rs flip flop okay so in d latch observe in d latch we have seen d latch with enable and d latch without enable listen with enable without enable if enable is 1 then only the circuit is activated if enable is 0 so circuit is deactivated we have already discussed in d latch so in latches enable pin is used but in flip flops there is no enable pin we use clock transitions either positive clock transition or negative clock transition So observe carefully. Clock is nothing but like this. This is the clock signal. So this is one zero. Again one zero. If you observe this carefully, it is going zero to one. Zero to one. That is known as positive clock transition. So zero to one positive transition. One to zero high to low. This is called as negative clock transition either positive or negative we can consider whatever we want so you will be get clarity on this in next slides okay so this is the circuit diagram of rs flip flop so observe carefully rs flip flop is nothing but extra clock pulse a clock pulse is added to rs latch so this portion is rs latch listen this portion is rs latch so we need to add a clock pulse to this circuit so i have considered so rs and a clock pulse to the two and gates now it becomes sr flip flop so rs latch and extra clock pulse observe carefully because this clock pulse is applied to r pin as well as s pin so i am taking two and gets here this is rs flip flop so observe carefully it is having two inputs clock pulse and two outputs so the operation depends on and gate observe and gate or uh, nor gates and nor so if you know two table of and nor then only the operation will become easy for you so here i am going to explain you about the operation of rs flip flop observe this is the logic diagram of rs flip flop and i have taken truth table for nor gate and gate okay two gates i have considered so this is the truth table so this is the used truth table i have used this truth table and i have to implement this one so two inputs s r and clock pulses so consider consider this flip flop affects output only when positive transition is considered you can consider negative here i am considering only positive transitions so i am taking only positive so if positive clock pulse is applied then only the circuit becomes active if negative is applied whatever the input may be either 0 0 0 1 1 0 One one, whatever the input may be, output doesn't affected. So because I have considered only 
positive clock transitions. Now let us discuss about operation of RS flip flop. Okay, so we have considered only positive clock pulses here. So see here, positive clock pulses. So if I have given positive clock pulse to the circuit, then the circuit is enabled and it produces output. If negative clock pulse is applied, then circuit is disabled and what happens to the output we will see here. Okay, clock pulse positive means we have to consider it as 1 because it is activated state. Clock pulse negative means it is deactivated state. So, consider it is 0. The first condition, the very first condition is clock pulse is positive. So, it is 1. S0, R0. So, S is 0, R is 0. Okay. So, 1 is applied here. Again, here. Here, 0 and 1 are input to end gate. So, observe in the truth table, 0, 1 are input and output is 0. So, keep 0 here. Similarly, 1, 0 to input to end gate. So, 1, 0. Again, it results 0. Okay. So, 0 and 0 are inputs to NOR gate. Observe. We know 1 input is 0. So, other input is either 0 or 1. Here also either 0 or 1. We don't know. So, as we have seen in SR latch. So, this is SR latch circuit. So, we know input S are 0, 0. Then, the circuit remains in no change condition. Then, outputs are same as previous. Consider Q and Q bar. So, that is nothing but no change condition. Okay. So, this is about first operation 0 0 operation next consider 0 1 okay so clock pulse is positive 0 1 this is the second condition so clock is 1 s is 0 r is 1 so 1 is applied here and here 1 0 it results 1 0 results 0 so it is 0 here 1 1 1 1 results 1. So it is 1. So SR latch with 1 0 as inputs. See 1 input is 1. So observe here carefully 1 input is 1. So if it, second input is either 0 or 1, whatever it may be, output is 0. So we know 1 input is 1, either it is 0 or 1, it results 0. So we can consider this statement here because See, 1, 0 condition. So, whatever the second input may be, it results 0. So, 0 is applied here. So, 0 and 0, then it results. So, 0 and 0 to NOR gate, it results 1. Q is 0. Q bar is 1. Observe carefully. R is activated. R is 1. So, Reset. So, output is resetted. Complement of output is 1. Same as SR lag. So, R is 1. So, reset pin is activated. So, output is resetted. And complement is 1. This is when S is 0, R is 1. Similarly, we will take S is 1, R is 0. Third condition. So, remove all this. So, S is 1, R is 0. Consider the blue ink one. Okay. Clock is 1. Okay. 0, 1, it results 0. Okay. I am removing this one. So, 1, 1, again it results 1. We know 1 input is 1. Whatever be the second input may be. So, it results output 0. Again, 0 is applied here. 0 and 0 are inputs to this NOR gate. It results 1. So, Q is 1. Q bar is 0. Here, observe. S is 1. That means, set pin is activated. Output is set to 1. Inverse, sorry, complement of output is 0. See, 
these two conditions very very important so r is highlighted so output is deserted s is highlighted so output is selected same as sr latch and the last one is one one condition okay i'll see one one condition here So clock is one, S is one, R is one. Okay, one is applied here and here. One one and get results one. One one and get results one. So SR latch with one one condition as input. So observe SR latch with one one condition. So we know SR latch with one one is nothing but invalid. So invalid condition or invalid state. So If you observe this carefully, all these conditions are same as SR latch. But here, activation of circuit depends on the clock pulse. What we have applied, listen carefully. Activation of circuit depends on the clock pulse. In latch, activation depends on the enable pin E. Okay. And the last one, important one. So if we have applied a clock pulse like negative means clock is zero okay so consider s is one r is zero just i am taking this condition we can consider either zero 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 one one zero one one i am taking zero one condition here so if you apply zero here and here zero and zero to end gate results zero zero and one It results zero. So listen, zero zero condition of SR latch. Again, no change condition. Observe SR latch with zero zero inputs. No change condition. So if we apply a negative clock pulse, then the circuit, the output remains same as previous outputs. This is about operation of SR flip flop. Up to here, same as SR latch. But activation of circuit depends on the applied clock pulse. Here, the circuit is activated only positive clock pulse is applied because I have considered like this. You can consider either negative. Observe carefully. This is the truth table of SR flip flop. So same as SR latch, but some extra column that is nothing but clock pulse. So zero zero condition. So output is in no change. Same as Q. Q bar no change condition zero one observe R is highlighted so whatever the output may be it is resetted this is output and this is complement so we have to observe only clock pulse inputs output no need to consider this one because these are exactly opposite of this one okay this is nothing but reset condition next one zero one zero means S is highlighted, so output is setted to one. So Q bar is zero. Set condition, one one condition. So it is invalid condition. So same as S R latch, but extra we have considered here. We are considering only clock signal. So if it is negative, the whatever the inputs may be zero 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 one one zero one one, it results. No change condition. That is nothing but same as previous Q Q bar outputs. This is truth table of SR flip flop. And now characteristic table of SR flip flop. It is very very important. So observe, it is not a truth table, characteristic table. So we are defining the character of SR flip flop. Okay. So here first you need to consider. Inputs S R. Here Q of T. It is present state output. Q of T plus one. Next state output. So based on the present state, next state is going to be depended. How it is depended? I'll explain. Next state of the flip flop. We know S zero R zero. S zero R zero of S R flip flop is no change condition okay it is clear for us okay so first condition i am taking s0 r0 i have applied s0 r0 
if the output is zero listen if the output is zero present state output is zero then what happens to the next state output so this value depends on the present state and state so here present state output is zero and observe the character no change so next state value is same as present because no change okay again second one zero zero okay no change so if present state output if we got one then what happens to the next state output again you have to observe this here so no change so the same value is going to be appear here so listen zero zero whatever the present state values the same value remains in next state because it is no change condition this is the character in this case okay similarly so if s is equal to zero r equal to one so observe here r is highlighted so the output is resetted because r is highlighted so present state outputs i am taking as zero and one observe here zero and one if present state output is zero it is going to be resetted to zero in next state similarly if present state output is one so it is also going to be resetted and output is zero in the next state so zero one condition remains zero so reset condition is satisfied here similarly one zero condition here s is one observe s is one so whatever the present state output may be so the next state is going to be one because it is set condition so this is zero 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 one one zero and last one 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 this is invalid condition in our sr flip flop this is about characteristic table of sr flip flop in next class we will discuss about d flip flop thank you